What's happening, YouTube? We're going to do a little talk today, a little collection direction. Um, it just got, I just got to find the time and I got to find a way to have me part with stuff. I part very rarely with Packer stuff. I have done a little bit lately. Um, but what my direction is, is going to be thinning out the Packers PC. I don't need a million Jordy Nelsons. Um, I can, unless they're gifts or um, unless they're the nastiest of the nasty. So that's, so I'm going to be thinning it out. It's just got to take me lots and lots of time because I got stuff to go through. I got so much Jordy Nelson, just period. If you're looking for Jordy Nelson, I got tons of it. Um, but that's that's the kind of way I'm going right now. It's just going to take me a long time to do. Uh, so yeah, that's that's going to be in the future. Um, I'm going to take all that money and get get the Arnie Herbert cut if I ever see one. Um, get the some of the nastiest stuff. You know, I, there's no reason for me to hold on to a bunch of rookies. The, the value of a Jordy Nelson card 10 years from now ain't going to be any different from now. It's just not. Maybe even less. So I'm just going to go for the stuff that's going to hold it, hold the value on our stuff I really like. And there's plenty. It doesn't have to be expensive for me to really like it. So um, there's a lot of stuff I have. It's just it's a card. It's nice. It's just not up my alley. It was at one point. My tastes have 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 progressed. The longer I'm in the hobby, the more I understand how it works for everybody. You get into it, and you want everything. And you get later into it, and you're like, I want some of the, the best stuff. And you get later into it, I don't need all that stuff. I don't need all the stuff I got in the first place. Time to move on. You know, It's the progression I think most collectors go through. And I'm definitely in that boat. And I started, when once I really started getting into the high-end stuff, um, that, that, I said, boy, this is more satisfying than me than have 100 cards of mid-end or low-end stuff. So, that's the way I'm going. So, anyways, getting into the cards. PC for the win. Fantastic. Mr. Julian Gaston. Uh, he pulled the RPA to five. Now I have, he pulled the one out of 25 already. Last break. Now he gets the one out of five. Freaking insane. Um, like, and see, there's, I got a couple awesome Ty Montgomery's. Do I really need any more? Do I? Not really. You know, um, those couple are probably are the, the ones that are the, well, the best ones of the year. You know, so, but thank you, Julian. That one's a keeper. <laughs> that one will go into the favorites box. Yes. Um, and then some lower end stuff. Oh, this I love picking up cracked ice. This is my uh, this year's contenders. Eddie Lacy. And I can still pick up stuff like this because it's fairly cheap. If I can find it fairly cheap, that's the point. Um, I like finding deals. That's more satisfying. That this is eleven out of twenty three. I got a couple of different Eddie Lacy cracked ices. Uh, very very happy. Now looking at Rainbow, I just like the cracked ice versions. Um, I have a, I have some Jordy too. Um, it's that's the stuff I like. It doesn't have to be super expensive for you to get it. So, but this one was oh, I can take the blue painters tape off now. I suppose. Um, thank you, blowout guy. Speaking of, since I since I uh, before I forget, I better give him my eye trader. But this is the Topps Chrome Mini Black version, black refractor. Um, out of 15. I got it for a super awesome deal. Uh, the guy that... I had to wait for it because the guy was in, was in New Zealand uh, and for, I guess, the military? And... Or, yeah, I don't know what it was exactly for, but I had to wait like three months for him to get back to the States from New Zealand to make a deal on this. And he got... And the thing about... The blowout forms, and you guys know what I'm talking about. If people get back to you, you're just like, holy crap. <laughs> so, so, we, so we've been messaging periodically for the last few months. So over that little card, and he was so, you know, he he, he remembered and got back to me. So happy. Um, 
I don't know how how happy you guys, the Packer, other Packer fans were, but I was super happy to find a modern Army Herbie card before I could find a cut. I eventually have a cut of this guy, and I got a diamond card out of Flawless. And I don't know if I'm the one. I'm more excited than anybody about the diamond cards, uh, of 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 the players I wanted. There's no modern cards of Arnie Herbert, and I can't believe he was made in this set. Thank you. Thank you, Flawless, for having this card in there. So, 10 out of 20. Arnie Herbert, if you don't know who he is, he is the quarterback that, that was throwing to Don Hudson all those years. And Don Hudson is probably one of the best wide receivers, top three of all time. That's saying a lot. That is saying a lot. Maybe number two behind Jerry Rice. I really, I mean, he was one of the guys that was so unstoppable in his day that it was, and were in a day where they didn't pass, he had numbers like a regular wide receiver today, if not better. So look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. This card, Blowout Four, has been so good to me lately. I can't believe this crap. This card, I lowballed the crap out of this one. It was 200 best offer, and I says uh, I gave him a 70 dollar offer, and he took it. I don't know if you didn't know who it was, but look at this rainbow kind of stuff going on here. See this? It's so weird. It, 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 I've never seen one of these before, but it's very, very rainbowy. Tony Canadeo is a running Hall of Fame running back. I had a cut of him already. This is the one on one from this year's National Treasures. I had a cut of him already, and uh, I moved it. So I basically paid like $25 for this one. This one was a steal. That's that's the stuff that makes me even more happier to own a card like this because it I s basically stole it. The guy could have got at least a hundred or a hundred and twenty-five for it. <laughs> I I whatever. I mean, you take my offer. If you don't know what you have, find out. <laughs> don't if you're dealing with me. Don't find out anything. Just blindly give it to me. <laughs> Happy, happy, definitely upgraded, upgrade. And then from Flawless again, now we're getting to the Bart Star stuff. Four to five, the Brett Favre 101 diamond card from Flawless. Green. I want to get the Arnie Herburn five out of five green parallel too, um, but these are beautiful. I'll probably get last year's Favre, or last year's star if I can find one out of five. Um, but it doesn't have to be necessarily an autograph for me to like it. Uh, so anyways, that goes with the Bart Star PC. That's right up my alley. I mean, I would love an Immaculate Patch too from this year's Immaculate. Uh, I'm still looking for one of those, uh, of Star. There's only like 15 of them. So eventually, eventually. But, uh, this one was an eBay purchase. Got a great price for it. Compared to what other Bart Star stuff is going on lately, so everyone had the same thought I had, and they started Bart Star just shot up the ladder in price. Um, but that's okay. I enjoy what I'm doing. On card up 2001 upper deck. Bart Star. Let me see if I can. That's a little bit better. This is a high gloss card, which I was very surprised because I don't get to see stuff like this. Um. Very very happy with uh. A big bold autograph on this. Not numbered, doesn't have to be numbered. It, oh, almost fell out of the case. Better put it back in there before I do something stupid. Um, doesn't have to be a numbered or high, um, low numbered Bart Star for B to be awesome. <laughs> it just doesn't. It doesn't. If you talk about a big bold autograph like that, that card was made for me, like Eric told me in a text. Um, this last one, Luke let finally let it go. I didn't really ask for it. He just kind of how, how he knew how much I love this card, and it's part of the, the one of the biggest iconic sets I've ever seen. Um, NFL greatest Bart Starr. It's just fantastic. Big bold number inscribed. Twenty five out of twenty five. One of the best Bart Stars out there. In my favorite Bart Star as of right uh, right now. Um, this card is insanely awesome. Insanely. Big, bold autograph. Part of the biggest iconic set National Treasures, I think, ever put out. 
and I'm just happy to own one. I don't thought I didn't think I was ever gonna own one because there are only 25 of them. Uh, Luke had a dupe, and he moved one to me because he knew how much heartache I had of losing the last couple. <laughs> I really, I really lost it. Um, that partly because this card is means a lot to me because he gave it up and he didn't really want to. And I appreciate that, Luke. Uh, uh, it means a ton that you would do that for me. Just uh, you did it for the far, but you had three. <laughs> uh, so that will sit right next to the Brett Favre. Uh, very, very awesome looking card. Just love it. Just love it. Uh, so that's where my direction of my collection is going. Uh, it, it's going to thin out a little bit, I think. So we'll see. Very, very happy. I'm still going to bust box it, or box it here and there. I'm not going to be insane about it. Um, but I'm managing my pickups, and I'm actually saving money buying the bigger stuff and concentrating on the bigger stuff, if it makes sense to you. I'm not doing the smaller purchase. Uh, 20, 30 smaller purchases. Don't have to. Um, it's not like it's bad stuff. It's good stuff. But I want to be into the great stuff, you know. Stuff that Packer collectors go, you know, big wide eyes for. That's 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 the stuff I want, um, and it's mainly going to be Bart Starr stuff. So, not 100% totally because that's not the way I am, but it will be. Um, prediction for the NFL draft: Raglan. Not, not because I think he's gonna, because I I want him to. Reggie Raglan, drop to the Packers pick. All is right in the world. If not, defensive tackle right there. Then an offensive line will be later on in the draft because we're going to have, uh, we might be losing some guys next year, but we got a shot at one of the top linebackers, I think, in the draft. So here we go. Cross your fingers, Packer fans. It's going to be fun. And then we get, we are so privileged every year to be, have to stay up late for the draft. Not like we're picking the top 10. We are so fortunate that we get to pick. And I'm barely hanging on. My eyes are barely open. But I love it. So, NFL Draft Geeks, here you are. This is this is Christmas coming Thursday. Um, thir well, the whole, the whole weekend. The whole Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, Sunday. So, that's all I got quality stuff it's just quality and, and i'm and i'm as a collector i, I think i'm more dedicated and happy to, with it so um that's everything i love you guys take care